I'm Gillian Slade with Medicine Hack News and my guest on Q&A today is Maureen Newton, an artist and the owner of Inspire Studio and Gallery. This lovely artwork and um, your artwork at the, as a backdrop to you there. Were you one of those children that always loved drawing and colouring in from day one? Uh, I did, yes. Actually, my father was an artist, so I guess that's how he used to entertain us when we were little. We, we drew with him, and he used to, um, with a compass, draw circles and make these patterns, and then we would mix color and fill them in. And I just loved doing that. And I think my sister commented once that I sort of came out of the womb uh, drawing. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> an office. But, yeah, it was just, uh, I guess, if your parents or whatever are like that, that that is part of your life, and you you know, I was a surprise to me that other people didn't do that. You know, oh, so. <laughs> and um, when did you officially become an artist? When did you just start selling your work? And... Um, well, I after I graduated from university, I went to the University of Lethbridge and had a, got a bachelor of fine arts there in painting and printmaking, and then I I traveled a little, little bit, and then. You know, I've sold the odd painting as a student and things like that, but I guess really when I, I moved to Vancouver and I started um, maybe painting more seriously, and, and then really when I, from there I moved to Ontario, and then um, I found there my artwork was very popular and yeah, I, I did quite well at it, so yeah. Were you born in Medicine Hat? I was born in Medicine Hat, okay. yes. Yeah. And then what took you to Vancouver? Um, I just decided on a whim. I, I, like I said, after I graduated from university, uh, I did some traveling. Europe. My, my family's from England originally, so I went and lived there for a little while. And uh, when I came back, I got back to Medicine Hat and just decided Vancouver was the place it had to be. So um, I just went out there on a whim and, and ended up living out there for about six years. And I really loved it out there. So. But Medicine Hat drew you back? Yeah, actually my family, yeah. yeah. Um, um, my dad was not well at the time, so I sort mm -hmm. of came back from England, and, and then um, he was doing a little bit better, so off I went again. <laughs> and um, when did you open Inspire Studio and Gallery? Um, July of uh, 2008, I guess, so about eight, over a year and a half ago now. And yeah, so for the first time in my life, I, I was working at the S1, and for the first time in my life, I had a really good art job, which are very hard to come by, mm -hmm. and I. I quit. <laughs> I don't know what the, the logic in that was, but I just decided I, I sort of I needed to do this kind of thing. I guess I was interacting a lot with artists who were doing that for a living, and I thought, you yeah, know, that's really. I almost felt jealous. I thought that was an indication mm -hmm. that that's really what I needed to be doing. So. And then you just there a number of different artists work here in this gallery. Yeah, so it's really my painting studio, so sort of my, my home base, and I teach classes here, so drawing and painting classes, children and adults, and and then I had this extra space, and I thought, well, um, I think Medicine Hat could do with a little commercial gallery, and, and so I really want it to be local artists, so, so there's a lot of people that I know are... Um, uh, just from the art community here, and, and so I have over 25 local artists' artwork on display as well. Like some of them are instructors at the college, like Craig Cote and Dean Smale, and some are students, and you know, just some are self-taught. You know, it's just a full variety of um, from pottery to you know sculptures, photography, painting, just a little bit of everything. So, do you work in a number of different mediums, or mainly oils? Uh, mainly in oils now. I, I, you know, I've kind of gone through processes where I would work in, in the early days. Like my dad taught me to paint in watercolors. That's you know what I always used to paint in. And then when I went to art school, I um, was introduced to acrylics and, and oils. So watercolors kind of went out the window. <laughs> I realized that um, really oils were just something that I really loved to paint with. And then at university, my um, minor was in printmaking, so that's oh. something else that, mm -hmm. yeah, so etching and that sort of thing, I really enjoy doing as well. What inspires you to begin work on a new piece of art? Well, I guess it was, um, you know, at times I've struggled to try and figure out what the heck I was going to do next at that point, 
you know, different times, but it was, uh, I think it was Paul Nielsen, one of my instructors at the college here, you know, when I was struggling, he said, paint what you know, like don't, you know, don't paint pictures of Africa if you've never been to Africa, you know, paint the things in your world, so I really took that to heart, I think, and then sort of now I have so many ideas, but they're sort of like my personal stories, I guess, that I, I really enjoy painting, and there's always a sense of humor in them that um, people get a good chuckle out of. So I like, I've always enjoyed those little plays on words, like if I can cut up, come up with kind of double entendres or you know, triple entendres or things, you know, <laughs> plays on words that have many multiple levels that, you know, I'm really proud of myself. Um, yeah, so it's really a, a lot about me. Sometimes, you know, I've done a series of self-portraits where I'm so sick of myself, you know, by the end of it that uh, I try and paint something else, but, you know, I always seem to come back to that. Do you have a favorite place in Medicine Hat, uh, if you've got some time to yourself, or with, with a friend that you'd like to go to, sort of gravitate to, either for a quiet moment or, or maybe for a jolly moment, <laughs> but yeah. a very good spot? Um, you know, there's a couple places that I absolutely love in Medicine Hat, and uh, one is actually the historic clay district. I think and probably got a little bit of that from my dad, like one of the reasons he emigrated here was um, he originally worked in the, the potteries oh, wow. here, but I absolutely love it down there. It's one of my most favorite places and um, just the scenery and the trains and the coolies and all of that, so I, I love going down there. Uh, I know I've taken a few of my art classes and I get so excited down there and they, they always look at me like, you're really weird. <laughs> Say, trust me, you know, you'll leave Medicine Hat and you'll realize how cool this is. Yeah. And then I think one of my other favorite places is the library. Mm. That's mm. Uh, on a day off. I love going to the library and just going through all the books there. And Do you have a favorite author? Um, I, I don't have much time really to read much anymore. I, I love to go through autobiographies and things like that. And I do love reading books about artists and sometimes that's like even the painting behind me here is, um, I do this a lot in my paintings, I use artists as reference, so I read their autobiographies a lot as well. Like this is Matisse, yes. and so he quite often pops up in my paintings kind of like as God, or a God-like figure. Okay. But um, I use my favorite artists sort of as characters in my paintings and things like that. A lot of people think that this is my dad, actually, it looks a lot like my dad, but... <laughs> actually mm -hmm. Matisse, so um, I do probably, uh, you know, autobiographies and things like that I love to read, but I was very excited. My niece was just in Toronto a little while ago, and she sat beside Margaret Atwood oh. and when she went to the theater, so... Um, that was probably, exciting. That was, yeah, <laughs> she told me that because she knew I'd be jealous. Yeah. <laughs> At the end of a working day, um, would you choose uh, a cup of tea or a glass of wine? A cup of tea, yeah. Cup of tea. yeah With a cookie? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a cookie, yes. Do you have a favorite tea? Um, just, I guess because my family is English, again, just the orange pico, got to have milk and sugar. And With the milk in first. <laughs> milk in first, definitely. <laughs> yeah, it was trained by my dad, so it has to be a specific way, and yeah. milk in first. It's sort of a ritual. <laughs> definitely, yeah. And actually, a lot of my paintings are about that too, the tea ritual that's kind of mm. been imprinted yes. in me. Yeah. <laughs> And if you were planning a, a holiday, are you a camping kind of person or would you want to um, plan for hotels and comfort? Uh, hotels and comfort, definitely. Camping is basically probably an overnight thing for me, yeah. <laughs> That's a little I can handle. <laughs> you mentioned your family's from, from England. Which part of England are they from? Um, well, my, I guess the Liverpool area, my dad mm -hmm. sort of grew up in the Midlands and that's how he sort of came to be trained in the, in the potteries. He grew oh, up okay. in, in Burslem and went to the yeah. Burslem School of Art, he was trained as a pottery designer and, and sort of that's how he came to, to be in Medicine Hat. Mm, interesting. Mm -hmm. If there's one person in life that, that you find a real inspiration for your life, uh, who would that be? Um, I guess... Right now, um, uh, my son, I think, because he's, it's his birthday today, he's oh. 10, and uh, um, he has uh, mild cerebral palsy, and I, I think he has a great attitude. Mm -hmm. he's, sometimes when we have 
chuggling days, you know, we had one a couple days ago, and that mm -hmm. night, you know, I was putting him to bed, and he said, tomorrow will be a better day. Oh, yeah, so, you know, he always tries his best mm -hmm. and, and works really hard at things, and he's very optimistic, and, yeah, I can be kind of neurotic sometimes, so I, you know, I'm the kind of person that worries, that I worry too much, you know, <laughs> kind of thing, so I do um, look at him and, and find that kind of, you know, inspiring and, and mm -hmm. just a good way to be. And what's his name? His name's Sam. Sam, yeah. wonderful. Thank you so much for doing this with oh, the interview with us. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks very much.